The Quran speaks of Imams as being just, but it also speaks of Imams who invite you to the fire of hell. For example, when it speaks of Fir'aun, it says on the day of judgment, Fir'aun will come forth leading his community to the fire of hell. You get this imagery, when Fir'aun is thrown into the pit of hell, his nation follow him, like a domino effect, like marbles, just one knocking the other, and they all just get swept down the cliff into the fire of hell. يَوْمَ نَدْعُوا كُلَّ أُنَاسٍ بِإِمَامِهِمْ on that day, we shall call every nation with their Imam. So on one hand, the Quran says, we will not call you individually. We will call your Imam. And you will naturally gravitate to the one who you see as your Imam. And that is why we say it is not simply sufficient to love and admire the Ahlul Bayt. You must follow them. in their fiqh, in their aqaid, in their akhlaq, in their adab, in their usul, in their tafsir. You walk in their footsteps here, you will naturally be pulled and attracted and gravitate towards them there.